Hey friends, it's the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead with an Easter tea break. Today is Good Friday, April 14th, 2017. And, uh, and I'm going to, I know I've made some mistakes in the last couple of tea breaks saying 2016 and putting it in the title and stuff. And you know what? I will, I figure I'll be able to write checks with 2017 on them and, and in my titles and saying by about November, I'll have it right down. And then two months later, it'll be 2018. And I got to learn it all over again. So what year is it? Yeah. Okay. It's 2017. It's Good Friday. And uh, it was a beautiful, it was a beautiful day today. Look, folks. Yeah. My daffodils. And tulips. So you mix them. Daffodils and tulips. Yep. Eh? Okay. Hmm. Look, they're coming up. Spring has sprung. Uh, Papa helped me clean. And uh, I got the vacuuming done, and, and Daddy did the dishes and did the sweeping, and, and I did the bathroom. So, I mean, you know, teamwork, and we got it all done. He was off work today, and hopefully tomorrow, unless he decides to take the day off, hopefully tomorrow he'll be building me my milk um, milking stand. And uh, so that's going to be a video. That's going to be a video. None of the goats have had babies yet. They, uh, <laughs> they, uh, they're ready. I'm telling you. Where you could see their hips before, it, you used to not be able to actually see their, their hips. Then they started to jot out. I was like, oh, she's dropping. Well, I went out yesterday and Spice, right in front of her hips where her backbone is, you can almost get your hands around her upper back. She has dropped so heavy. So any day now, any day now. And uh, we're going to be maybe um, uh, trading a goat, one of our goats, Mocha, I think maybe going to a new home after she kids, uh, friends. I'm not going to say anybody's names because we're, it's not for sure yet, but uh, Mocha, after she has her kids, friends need a goat that's in milk and their goat didn't take. So we may trade goats because I, I, I'm going to be able to handle two goats in milk because uh, three's pushing it, especially these rambunctious girls. We, uh, there, we found somebody local that we can get our piglets from and they are, is this recording even? Yeah. And they are uh, local. I mean, local, like right up the highway local. And instead of us driving two, two and a half hours to pay $100 a piglet, we can go right up the road and get pay $100 a piglet for Heritage Piglets. So we're really excited about that. And uh, we should be having pigs in the next, piglets in the next month or so. And no gardening yet. No gardening yet. Just started my herbs and they're doing really well. Um, I All my tomatoes took, my little, my little things of... Uh, basil look like they look like chia pets <laughs> they look like this little peat pellet with a with a crop of this beautiful green hair it's really cute um so uh yeah it's it's been it's spring you know it doesn't matter how crappy i feel and and i've had a you know crappy week i my knee is still badly bruised and I'm still using, I'm walking around the house with a, with a wheelie walker. And if I got to put groceries away, it's in the basket and I wheel it into the pantry. It's been, it's been a rough week, but even as my knee's still bad and everything, when spring hits, you forget a lot. Okay. Every winter seems to get a little worse, which makes me appreciate spring more because I got to see it. I mean, let's face it, every day above ground is a good day, right? But those seeing those daffodils and the tulips poking up, man, oh man, it's like a surge of renewal. 
That's what spring is for me. It's a time of spirit, spiritual, mental, emotional renewal um, and physical renewal too because I've been going back and taking over some of the bar the chores in the barn and feeding my chickens and collecting eggs and we're starting to get a few turkey eggs which means soon I'll be putting some in the incubator I'm not gonna I don't think I'm hatching any chickens this year Stephanie's hatching some for me some lavender um, I, I I can't remember that they're they're a lavender Brahma no Orpington, that's it. They're lavender, or, lavender Orpingtons. So hopefully, I'll get a few hens out of that. And uh, it's just I'm I'm not going absolutely madcap crazy this year because I'm only putting a few crops in, and so I'm looking forward to it. Half the garden's going in potatoes, some's going in turnips and and a row of tomatoes and some tomatoes here and there and some beans and wherever we can stick them. Because I'm not sure where all this stuff's going to go because daddy's ripping down the greenhouse and putting up a new one. And where the old chicken coop yard is, that yard is coming off and it's going to be a part of the greenhouse. So that you can go in through the old chicken coop and then walk through the coop into the greenhouse. So that's actually looking really cool. That's that's the, the plan is is formulating. And so things, as usual, are all going to come together really quick hard and fast because there's going to be the gardens going in and there's going to be a greenhouse being built and there's going to be goats having babies and there's going to be turkeys hatching and all that wonderful stuff none of it's happening yet but guess what the tulips and the daffodils are coming up if nothing else hope springs with spring this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, I hope this Easter weekend that everybody feels that renewal and that resurgence of life. Take care, God bless, and happy Easter.